Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank. You are listening, caring partner. Welcome to Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My guest today is Mr. Simon Mora. He is the director of Gag Technology. Welcome to the show, Simon. Thank you. Gag Technology. Gag is an interesting name. First, tell me about the name. Gag Technology means God always gracious. So it's an acronym. GAG. Tell me about the business. When did it start and what do you do? The business started uh, two years back uh, since I registered a company after having um, a, a media coverage. And actually, I wanted to explore more about the kind of vision which I was doing. By Wait, thing. so the business was born out of a media coverage? I would say so because actually where I was and actually to my state by then, without that exposure, I could not have thought about a company because initially my idea is still in that where I was. So the media platform actually created a higher level for me at least to go to the note of now thinking more about the company. Then um, I grew up doing those uh, crazy, crazy things about electronics and all that. And uh, I could love it because even the villagers could be interested with what I was doing because like radios and electronic devices, they could bring along to see the default part I can be able now to maintain and uh, they could love it the way I was doing it because at the end of the day they could say if that thing defeats Mora to repair, I don't think there is somebody else who can be able to make it. So when the media found you, what were you doing and what did they highlight? Well, I was sitting in my house and thought, I, I need to take this technology in another level, but I don't know how. I just uh, found myself thinking of something that I will create an impact in the media. Though it might look uh, weird, but I know it will create an impact. And I thought there are so many ideas we have, which has never been brought up by other people. And I thought, uh, if it is out of automation, maybe people have ever done it, uh, operating uh, writings and all that with their cell phone is not an amazing thing. But I thought of another advantageous idea by concept of preparing tea with a, with a mobile phone. That sounds, uh, people is fancy, they want to see what is happening. And uh, I explored the idea day in, day out, day in, day out, and uh, at the end of the day, it all, the idea came to be, and I tested for about two weeks, three weeks to see whether I can be preparing tea as wrong away in the home and I can find the machine is doing perfect stuff. If you dial a number no, and your, the, the machine <laughs> for tea picks it up? Anything that you want to control in your house, it's just uh, an SMS based. Mm -hmm. So if you go to your cell phone, you write uh, as per the programming code uh, command name, mm -hmm. like a tea maker, I would use just to type tea maker then uh, the, the, the motherboard in the house can be able now to interpret my message and know which uh, issue which is addressed to. And it can be able now to roll out in preparing tea, filter, and cork. And then it can be able now to call, to confirm calling back to me to confirm that he is ready. So that is where my technology actually now started giving uh, attention to the media and all that. So it one day that I woke up and thought I need now to take it to the media house. I went to one of the TV uh, media house and I introduced my technology, but initially they were seeing a crazy guy who doesn't know what he's speaking about. Until the very end, after pursuing so much, uh, I was given at least a coverage just to see whether it's true or not. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a mega exp uh, exposure when they came and it was a, a big explosion. So after the media highlighted your innovations, yeah. what happened next? Actually, I got a, a phone call from the University of Nairobi, one of my loved lecturers that I love so much, Mr. Gashigi. And um, he sent guys for the media house to go search for this man. I'd love to see him right here in my face. And um, within no time that I received a call from a guy from Nairobi University, can we meet? And then I took hold of Brief Street. I went and uh, I met him. 
and I went to the lecturer. He just uh, said, this is how we have had your case and we would love to do. Because Nairobi University, right now, they are setting a science park mm -hmm. in at Fab Lab, where everybody, not only that you are a student, but if you are an innovator, having an idea, you just go there and uh, you, you meet the lecturer, tell what you have, and uh, he's of a great assistance so far that I can call. So then they started assisting you to what? To perfecting my innovation, and also now uh, brainstorming on more about the latest technology, because you remember what I had is based on the way that I used to know things happening. I never knew about computation in one or the other. Being there for that while actually transformed all the uh, old stuff that I had and impacting more technology. About how I, I made it so quickly, I find it's fancy, is because the way of reasoning of making my product there in my own way, in a mechanical and all that, I found the concept based on the computer. So it was easier for me to transform my technology to the latest. That's why it took me that short time. Mm. That is why I'm doing it right now. So then Gag was born. Gag was born. It's through the same lecture I used to now. To, he, he assisted me to register the company. And uh, today, uh, my company is Rive and Learning. So they came to Gag today. What, what products do you have? Right now, I'm having a, um, a car fruit management product that is a, a GPS tracking system, of which I know many business people still are doing it locally. But uh, you'll find that uh, we need to embrace more about our technology because many are people who are just going in China and other countries. But I believe uh, it's a high time that we embrace our technology based on our loot needs in our local uh, country. Right now, I'm not a software developer, but I, to, to an extent right now, I just purchased the software because I cannot be able now to maneuver all that. But in the, when it comes to hardware, programming, I'm, I'm really nice in that. And uh, that's where I'm now making the cause of programming and all that. So your fleet management system is called what? Uh, Spark product. That is a mild trademark name. And you were sharing with me, what is the difference between your product and me sourcing a fleet management pro product from China? More about uh, Rocco made product is the features Rockerly needs. Because you go to a client and actually consult him, this is how I like my product to be. When you go to the product which is ready in the market, no transformation whatsoever that you can make, actually you're going to use it as per it is. But when it's locally made, you can uh, be able now to configure it and put a lot of features depending on the interest of the local need. Your products are tailor-made to the customer. Exactly. Not shelf bought. Yeah. They are not shelf bought. Right now, I can give a case. Right now, there's a product which is the, I'm just setting the, to the government. Uh, I'm being assigned to do it. But still, they are shelf made. And um, I'm refining the product based on the local needs towards the government ministries. And uh, once I represented my case last week, it was uh, handled right and, and good because this is what we want. This is the local need that we need. We need to take a short break now. When we return, we'll hear more about gag. Don't go away. Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My guest today is Mr. Simon Mora. He's the director of Gag Technologies. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Before we went on the break, you were sharing with us your passion for technology. Since yeah. a young man, fidgeting with gadgets and beginning to innovate and uh, finally having your own business called Gag mm -hmm. that is uh, producing homegrown technology yeah. for the market. How do people know you exist? The product that I deliver to the person that we start as a, as a client, the first client who come to me, mm -hmm. and I, he, she or he just come and share his security issues based on uh, maybe on the motor vehicle spanner, 
and because I'm, um, I'm more extending the house of remission, they are able now to cater for their needs as part it is, and they could now spread the gospel of how this thing is working in terms of locally made stuff. And that's how I feel my channel goes around to be spread by the gospel, the work, good work that I'm doing. What are some of the challenges that you faced growing your business? One of the challenges I can say is more about the competitors and uh, more to it is a lack of financial breakthrough in whatever that you want to, to deliver. Because you have a big idea, you have um, a big aim, but you can't be able to deliver because of the financial constraints. And uh, also the point of the local made product, people who still has not yet endorsed the product as in can be made locally and deliver and uh, serve the purpose. Mm -hmm. We rely so much in the West technology, but uh, once we keep on having more people doing of the same, people will come to know that even the local product actually is the one that is doing more good job than uh, Western product. What does it take to be in your business? I can say it's the, the spirit. That is one the key core thing. Because many challenges, because you have an idea today, you, you explore to it, you get disappointment. Because to my case, any time that I have innovations, I make the product for the first time. Even if it's perfect 100%, I destroy. Because that is, that is not a product to me. I like a product when I make first time, it doesn't work. Second time, doesn't work. So challenge here is when you're innovating, when challenges come, take them positively because they make you learn more than expected. So the spirit of maintenance, the consistency of doing stuff is the only key core that can make you not to go to the next level. And uh, also not dealing with in the terms of uh, finances because when you look what you have in the pocket, you can't do something. Just go to the idea, implement it with mind, see what you can do, source everything you can so that your, your idea will, will, will stand. Where do you get your ideas from? I've always wondered about an innovator's mind, you know, in terms of, does it come to you in a dream? Is it something that you, you know, do a bit of maths and, or some computer additions? Where, where do the ideas come from? I would say that it's godly based because even myself, sometimes I do great uh, things and I find myself, what is it happening? How did I know this? Wow, so the divine idea. It is a divine uh, connection because I could have an idea, I dream of it, at least when I think in my own mind, I, came to, I come to a corner, I don't think beyond that, and I don't know how it can work. When I sleep, I can dream the same idea which I had, and I see the progress to where I left it. Tomorrow morning when I woke up and uh, continue to my dream, I, I, it's actually my new to us. A lot of young people watching are obviously inspired but by what you're doing. You know, what kind of uh, words of wisdom would you give them? I can start, first of all, not only with those people who have the spirit to do that, but actually I love to speak to those people who has that idea of many people are inveying about it. Like, let me give my case with myself. Uh, I have a lot in my head and a lot of ideas, but what I have done, I don't want to hold these technologies on my own because it is not because once I leave this world, it's not what I go with, it's what I leave behind. And I thought a note just to go back to my society and at least give back to what I have. And also in my class that I'm training, I, I, I thank Equity Bank because they put an interest on it. And uh, right now there is this uh, program which are learning on the financial literacy and uh, they are coming, taking programs, and my students have learned so well, even uh, after these, after my learnings, if they start uh, making or starting any businesses, I, I love it because they won't struggle the way that I did before knowing equity, but through them they are advantageous because they will be able now to know what it entails and which step to follow because equity is there for the guidance in terms of, uh, and also for the financial support. Five years from now, ten years from now, when you look at GAG technologies, what do you see? I see an industry on its own, which is uh, a government consultation firm in terms of uh, any product based on electronics ideas. And also a firm where young people, it doesn't matter where your area, where you come from, as long as you have an idea, where people will go and exploit what they have in their mind. And by so doing, they will have also a benefit. Mm -hmm. My desire is to sit down and watch things happening at the end of the day. You know, you've been in business now two years, you've been at technology for a while. What are some of the lessons that you've learned? 
we find things happening, but it's only that we don't explore to them. We never realize how they operate. So that's exploration to one technology. It has opened up my mind to see that even if something is operating, it doesn't work on miracles. Somebody behind the idea. Simon, thank you so much for coming to share your story with us. Great inspiration. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you too. Have a great week and God bless. Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.